in the visual cortex, there's you know visual area one or V1, and then there's a bunch of other higher level processing layers like V2, V3. And there, there are actually kind of interesting parallels in when you study the behaviors of these convolutional neural networks, like what the different layers of the network is detecting, you know, first they're detecting like these edges and they're then detecting some more natural curves and then they start to detect like objects, right? Kind of similar thing happens in the brain. Um, and a lot of that has been inspired and also, you know, it's been kind of exciting to see some of the correlations there. Um, but, you know, things like from there where does cognition arise and where where's color encoded, I, there's, there's just not a lot of, um, understanding, fundamental understanding there. So in terms of kind of bringing sight back to those that are blind, um, there are many different forms of blindness. Uh, there's actually million people, one million people in the US that are legally blind. Um, you know, that means like certain, uh, like score below in kind of the, the visual test. Um, I think it's something like, if you can see something uh, at 20 feet distance that Normal people can see at 200 feet di distance. Like you're, le like if you're worse than that, you're legally blind. So for them, fundamentally, that means you can't function effectively. Correct. Using sight in the world. Yeah, like to navigate to navigate um, your environment. Um, and yeah, there are different forms of blindness. There are forms of blindness where uh, there's some degeneration of your uh, retina, um, these photoreceptor cells, and and rest of your visual. Uh, you know, processing that I described is intact.